Lord, open our lips, and we shall praise your name. Firmly I believe, and truly, God is three, and God is one. And I next acknowledge duly manhood taken by the Son. And I trust and hope most fully in that manhood crucified. And each thought and deed unruly do to death as he has died. Simply to his grace and holy light and life and strength belong. And I love supremely solely him the holy, him the strong. Adoration I be given with and through the angelic host. To the God of earth and heaven, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Lord, you will be pleased with the lawful sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy, me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offence. Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offences, truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned, what is evil in your sight I have done that you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of ever sustain me that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring at your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt off and from me would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spend. In your goodness show favour to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with awful sacrifice, all like us suffered on your altar. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. 
Lord, you will be pleased with the lawful sacrifice offered on your altar. All the descendants of Israel shall glory in victory through the Lord. Truly, God of Israel, the Saviour, you are a God who lies hidden. They will be put to shame and disgraced, all who resist you. They will take themselves off in dismay, the makers of idols. But Israel is saved by the Lord, saved forevermore. You will never be ashamed or disgraced through endless ages. For this is the word of the Lord, the creator of heaven, the God who made earth and shaped it, he who made it firm. He did not create it in vain, he made it to be lived in. I am the Lord, there is no other. I have not spoken in secret in some dark place. I have not said to Jacob's sons, search for me in vain. I am the Lord, I speak the truth. I proclaim what is right. Assemble all of you, draw near, you who have escaped from the nations. They know nothing who carry around their idols made of wood and keep on praying to a God that cannot save them. State your case and bring your proofs. Consult among yourselves who proclaimed this beforehand, who foretold it long ago. Was it not I, the Lord? There is no God but me, a God of justice, a saviour, there is none but me. Turn to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear it. It is truth that goes forth from my mouth, a word beyond recall. To me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. They will say, In the Lord alone are victory and power, and to him will come in dismay all who have resisted. Through the Lord will come victory and glory for all Israel's sons. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All the descendants of Israel shall glory in victory through the Lord. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Cried with joy to the Lord of the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made as we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord. Eternal is merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Remember your leaders who preach the word of God to you, and as you reflect on the outcome of their lives, imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same today as he was yesterday and as he will be forever. Do not let yourselves be led astray by all sorts of strange doctrines. I place watchmen on your towers, Jerusalem. I place watchmen on your towers, Jerusalem. They will never cease to tell of the name of the Lord. By day and by night, I place watchmen on your towers, Jerusalem. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I place watchmen on your towers, Jerusalem. It is not you who speak. The Spirit of your Father speaks in you.
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us a tree from fear, and saved from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people a salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. It is not you who speak. The Spirit of your Father speaks in you. Christ the Good Shepherd laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise him with grateful hearts as we pray. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Christ our Lord, in the holy pastors you revealed your love for us. May we never be deprived of the care you show through them. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Through your sacred ministers, you are present in our midst as the shepherd of our souls. Never cease to guide us through their teaching and encouragement. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. In the saints who lead your people, you manifest your power of healing souls and bodies. Remain always with us to renew our lives in holiness. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. By the example of the saints, you instruct your faithful in the ways of wisdom and love. Through our pastors, help us to grow to the full stature of perfection. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty and eternal God, who by a singular grace allowed Saint, the priest Saint Pio to participate in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy, 
Grant through his intercession that constantly united to the passion of Christ, we may happily arrive at the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.